Welcome to Being at Home with George. And I'm really excited to be here today and to talk about this idea, creating this possibility of saying yes, embracing whatever comes up and generating hope for it. And I'd like to talk about that actually a little bit, really go into what does it mean to say yes to life? Embrace whatever comes up, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the idea is, what is it? We talk about it all the time, this possibility of just saying yes to everything, not denying or repressing, but just being open to the experience in front of us. And so why is it beneficial? It's beneficial or important because whatever we resist persists. And if we don't say yes to it, if we don't embrace it, if we don't observe it, then we won't learn. It's an opportunity to learn and to seek to understand not only ourselves, but how we relate to the world, how we relate to people, places, and things. So the important question is, how do you do it? And I know we talk about it every week. You do it by what I call the NRL. You notice, you relax, and let go. And so let's talk about what I mean by noticed. I'm talking about having a mirror mind. I'm talking about an uncritical observation of what's in front of us so that we're letting things speak to us in its own language without pulling things towards us because it's pleasant or pushing things away because it's unpleasant. This is how the nervous system works. And if it's not pleasant or unpleasant, it's neutral. So we space out. We're indifferent. So this is really about the opposite of that, being interested, having equanimity, being still, having our center, holding our center, coming from the eye of the hurricane, coming from that place of rest, Joseph Campbell talks about. And so just noticing uncritically what's happening, that's another word for mindfulness, but just mirror mind, letting what's there be there without trying to interpret what it means or push it away or pull it towards us, but holding our center. And so what I mean by relax is we have to learn how to just being in the body and being aware of breathing in and breathing out. So we're resting in the breath, resting in the body, resting in the moment. And so why is that important? And we can relax if we think about it. What is happening is happening because the conditions for what is happening to be happening are present. It's just really simple. So we relax, we notice, and then this letting go, letting be. This understanding that when we hold on to something, then we, we get attached, we get imprisoned, we suffer. But this idea of being able to let go, let be, or allow things to be as they are. Alan Watts talked about when he said, belief is holding on and faith is letting go. So this idea of letting go, letting be, asking ourselves how important is it? Just let it go. It's freeing. And I'll end with what the Thai forest master Ajahn Chah talked about. He said, when I let go a little bit, I have a little peace. When I let go a lot, I have a lot of peace. When I let go completely, I have complete peace. So the main idea of being able to notice, relax, and let go is that it allows us to see clearly and to be at peace and to experience this idea of just letting go to grow, letting grow so that we can continue to flow with the flow of life.